just leaving the barn. Say bye to my horses. Bye, Finny. You're a good boy. They're so cute. Hi, buddy. Oh, say hi to all your fans. We're good today. Hi, buddy. Oh, the giantest of horses. Good boy. And you, don't be shy. The new one, uh, the new kid on the block. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. All right, let's roll. All right, we're rolling to the airport. My bag, got my boots. Not a clinic. All right, so here's the deal. Headed to Seattle for another clinic today. And I wanted to talk to you guys today a little bit about finding the second trot. And I think it's a really interesting thing that we have in horsemanship and dressage. And if you notice, people call it actually the second trot. We don't call the canner the regular canner and then the second canner. Um, and it's definitely true that certain horses have a very normal regular trot and then you have to teach them to find a, a second trot, a trot with more collection and more cadence. Um, that, uh, another airplane. That's why I always park here because the airplanes fly like really close to the parking garage, right through there. It's kind of a cool airport. Anyway, let's talk about that today. And I've been working on that with Saint, trying to find the ideal tempo to balance him in that we find a little more trot. And he's really tricky to keep through. So I'll mix in some footage of my ride earlier today. And yeah, off to Seattle, let's roll. Thank you.
Just off the plane in Seattle. This place is busy. All right, just got here. I'm gonna give you three tips for like ideas, concepts that I use to try to find the trot rhythm. And first tip is find the ideal tempo. So what I like to do is I try to go closer to like a passage tempo and then add a little bit of energy. So if you look back at the same video, I slow him down and then I cluck a little bit. Tip number one, find the ideal tempo. Tip number two, balance the frame. So if they're too rolled over, too low in the frame, uh, it's hard for them to swing in the trot. If they're too high or braced up, um, that's not productive either. So you have to kind of balance the frame. Tip number two, balance the frame. Um, and tip number three is add energy without pushing it forward. So that's like where I'm clucking. Clucking means more energy not necessarily pushing it forward. So those are the three tips that I'll give you. Um, I know this is kind of quick and short, but I have to teach a bunch of lessons tomorrow and I'll try to do as much footage as I can of the clinic tomorrow um, on here. But end of the day here in Seattle and We'll see you guys tomorrow. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed because then you won't miss another video. Thanks for watching.